Good morning fellow bike patrol team. Um, as promised, this is the briefing for your duties next week at Crazy Ultra. Um, I hope that all of you are looking forward to it. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to the event. Now, uh, generally this is a very short presentation of um, the things that you will be doing and a couple of things to look out for. Please make sure that you familiarize yourself with the guide that accompanies this video that has been sent to your email. Uh, for the start, please, my fellow cyclists, know where your starting checking, uh, your checkpoint is. If unsure, refer to the um, the website that the link that I stated in the guide. But most importantly, uh, be aware of what your duties are. Your priority as part of the bike patrol team is to provide direction, guidance and assistance to the runners. Ensure that you are familiar with the road so that you will not end up leading the runners to the wrong place or giving the wrong directions. And most importantly, during medical emergencies, please, if possible, bring the runner to a safe spot. Be with him or her and contact the medical IC, Philip, also me lah. Um, and after that, stay with the runner until the ambulance has arrived. Now, when you call me to report the medical cases, uh, please be clear in the description of where you are, the runner's beep number, and give me some basic signs and symptoms like is the runner conscious, or whether is or if the runner is conscious, is he still uh, aware of his environment, or is he? Uh, uh, hallucinating or delirious already so that I can give better information to my uh, medical team lah. now a couple of things to take note um, number one please don't report to the wrong checkpoint so if you have signed up for say duty at checkpoint 4 to checkpoint 5 your starting and reporting point will be checkpoint 4 I repeat, so if your duty is checkpoint 4 to checkpoint 5, the first checkpoint, in this case checkpoint 4, will be your reporting checkpoint. Once you are there at the reporting checkpoint, uh, look for the checkpoint leader because he or she will take your attendance and pass you your volunteer T. Uh, the, I have already told my leaders about the cyclists, about you cyclists, so it shouldn't be an issue. Now, uh, feel free to refuel with food and to top out your own water bottles from any of the checkpoints within your range. So once again, with reference to duty at checkpoint 4 to checkpoint 5, uh, you can top up your supplies at either checkpoints, no problem. Now remember to pick up your volunteer tee and wear it during the patrol so that the event runners can actually recognize you to be the official bike patrol team. This is very important uh, reason having stated in the guide. Uh, have a read and you'll know why I emphasize on this. And of course, uh, ensure that your bicycle has the front white light and the rear red light. And please ensure you bring along a spare battery for your mobile phone so that in case of medical emergencies and your phone is flat, you are still able to contact me. Um, two more things that I want to bring up in this briefing, just a quick one. Uh, the For the cyclist who is covering checkpoint 1 to checkpoint 2, I repeat, the cyclist who is covering checkpoint 1 to checkpoint 2, your shift being the night shift, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., uh, there is a stretch of road that's along Ulu Sembawang There is not littered at night. So I need your help. What you're going to do is before you start your shiva at the checkpoint, please collect the light sticks from the checkpoint leaders. After you collected the light sticks, when once you entered Ulu Sembawang, can you at every say uh, 10 meet, 5 to 10 meter stretch uh, put the light stick on the ground at both sides, on both left and right. So I repeat, Pick up the light sticks, enter Ulu Sembawang, that whole stretch that is not littered up. Deploy the light sticks at every 5 to 10 meters at both left hand and right hand side of the path. So please make sure you have enough light sticks. Huh? Once the sun rises, or just before your duty end, maybe at about 6.30 or 6.45, when there's probably some visibility already, um, do me a favor. Please take up, pick up all the light sticks and return them to checkpoint one. 
I repeat, just before the, your duty end, uh, along the stretch of Ulu Sembawang, please pick up all the light sticks and return them to checkpoint one. Um, I don't want to the next day we receive a call from Mpark saying how come there are light sticks along the ground. Um, and uh, just be, just make sure that the light sticks are only deployed along the that unleaded stretch, uh, not the whole checkpoint one to checkpoint two. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, last year a couple of cyclists went the extra mile to carry water to be a sort of like a mobile water station to help top up uh, the water supplies for the runners. Now there is not a compulsory duty. If you want to do that, uh, feel, please feel free to do so. But I, it is not required of you to do that. Uh, it is a, a extra bonus for the runners. All right. Now, last but not least, uh, really, my bike patrol team, thank you so much for signing up. Your duty is definitely not easy. You have to cycle back and fro the entire stretch for an average of at least eight to nine hours. Some being almost ten hours. Uh, it is very, very physically and mentally demanding, but it is very comforting to see some of those who volunteered last year in my prototype team coming back again this year. Crazy Ultra is not an event that is possible without the support of you, Bike Patrol team and my other volunteers. So I may or may not have the chance to see all of you cyclists, catch up with you cyclists, but before... but. Irregardless, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much, my dear team. See all of you next week. Stay strong, stay healthy, and let's go crazy.